My name is Suda House. I'm a professor of art and photography at Grossmont College and a founding member of the Museum of Photographic Arts. As children, we believe in the impossible, and we believe we can do almost anything. When I first look at the image departure from the series Exhausted Globe by Robert and Shana Park Harrison, I remember my childhood in Memphis, Tennessee in the 1950s. On a very hot, humid, and muggy day, my best friend Leslie and I decided that we were going to fly to the moon. And we went about the neighborhood collecting odd pieces of wood and taking my sister's tricycle apart for the wheels. And we took tools out of our father's garage so that we could um, build this elaborate rocket. So after dinner, under a very dark, beautiful sky with more stars than you could count and the fireflies flickering about, we climbed aboard, we charged it up, we set our sights on the moon, and we took off all within our imagination. And our imagination, you know, is a gift of childlike wonder, and we, really we believe in the throes of our mind that we can make anything happen. The Park Harrisons, on the other hand, believe something has already happened, that we adults are not really seeing what we have done to this earth, that we have abused it, we've destroyed it, we are um, using science, technology, GMOs, and greed to live in the moment and not think about neither the past, the present, or the future. In the present day, when we view the pictures, they give us a sort of prediction of an apocalyptic future that we must take heed of. And I think that the Park Harrisons don't really trust us, and therefore they've made these images to warn us of what lies ahead. That's why this image is so important. It speaks of departing a planet that has been destroyed. When in our imagination, we need to hope that that day never happens.